Boardman neighbors may be back in their homes after flooding, but it's not all back to normal. Flooding ravaged the basements of many homes. Local leaders are trying to find financial help, and now one state lawmaker is stepping in to see what he can do. 27 First News reporter Noah Daniels Wilder toured one of those homes with State Senator Joe Schiavone. The stories I heard of the meeting today were horrific. Thousands of dollars worth of damage and nothing anyone has done about it. Neighbors just want some relief and the solution to the problem. This looks like the Mississippi Delta right here. My entire yard, front and back. A scene a lot of Boardman neighbors saw in their own yard just a couple weeks ago. Mike Malone's house was hit hard by flooding during the heavy rain. What makes it worse, he saw it all happen. It, it's a helpless feeling. You're watching the entire event unfold and you really can't do anything until it's over. This is Malone's basement when it was under three feet of water, flooded, water seeping through the walls, and a refrigerator floating. I worked two and a half weeks post-event, and uh, we're still scrambling. The house was built in 1970, and Malone and his family have lived there for the past five years. He wanted to make this his forever home. With the amount of money I'm going to invest in uh, the problems that were, exist now, it's going to have to be. I, I can't sell it as is. What's the main problem behind these floodings? These homes were built all in different decades, using different kind of materials, and they're all aged and outdated. Shivoni says this is a problem that could happen anywhere. Until we're going to actually tackle the problem, we're going to run into problems like this, not just in Youngstown, not just in Ohio, but across the Midwest. Shivoni's putting pressure on Ohio leaders to tap into the million dollar rainy day fund and help people in Boardman get back on their feet. For Malone and his family and many others, they just have to wait it out. The expense is uh, it's pretty tough to manage, but uh, again, it, this is our home and we're going to make it.